All right, one of the reasons people struggle with playing uh, open position chords and bar chords is because of a lack of good hand position and then individual uh, finger strength and independence. So I'm gonna show you a couple exercises that will help get your hands in a good position so that you can not only play the chord more consistently, but transition more smoothly as well. Uh, so this first one will be for fingers one and three and it'll look like this. So there's a fret in between, and I'll just move across the strings with fingers one and three, and when I get to here, I slide up, and now it's three and one. Slide up, back to one and three. Three and one. And notice my position on the back of the guitar neck. I have that space between my palm and the neck. My thumb is in a good position. I don't have my palm high. And on the front, my right hand is just picking down up. So I'm playing each note twice, and it looks like this. Side up. back of the neck is really important, that thumb position. And my thumb just pivots and rolls. So if I sped it up a little, see how quiet my thumb is? I'm not bouncing around, I'm not getting my palm high. And on the front, it allows to be on the tips of your fingers so when it comes time to play a bar chord you're already in a good position so there's my bar chord there's my picking exercise so the thumb chord picking chord so this one and three exercise is really great to kind of force the issue with your hand where you get in a good position and you can maintain it and then you transition well. And that strengthens this third finger to help prevent it from like kind of folding and collapsing. And when you play a bar chord, the tendency is to not get enough pressure on these top strings and then to have your first finger at an odd angle. And it's usually because people are getting the thumb up high, getting the palm on the neck. It kind of just defeats the purpose you need uh, to be able to pull off uh, not only open position chords, but the bar chords.